So for this tutorial, I'm going to start by blocking out my eyebrows. So I'm just doing this by applying some scar wax over the top of my eyebrows, just kind of blending that and um, just kind of spreading that out over my eyebrows. <laughs> And if you don't have scar wax, you could also use a glue stick. You just want to kind of get the hairs down. And now I'm just covering that up with some face powder. Um, anyway, so now I've moved on to the white base. I'm using a white cream makeup, and I'm just applying this all over my entire face. You're probably going to have to do a couple layers depending on how pigmented your white color is. You could also use paints if you have that. Um, make sure it's kind of like a face paint. They're kind of really easy to find anywhere during the Halloween season. You can go and find some like face paint or face cream at Walmart or any Halloween store. I'm also going to be bringing this over into my ears and down my neck just because I will be doing some makeup on the neck area. Um, now I'm just taking a black eye pencil, uh, my video, my camera cut off what I did for the eyes. Basically I'm just, um, creating some outlines of the shapes that I'm going to fill in. So I'm just taking this black eyeliner and kind of drawing little details in that I want for the skull. You can just kind of follow my lines as reference or if you want a different kind of skull, you can find a picture online and just kind of follow those lines and details. You could even look at a picture of a real skull and just kind of figure out how that goes. Another thing that helps is if you actually try to like feel your face, you can feel the bone structure underneath your skin. So you can just try to draw where you feel your bones naturally lie. That'll also help with proportions and stuff. Because my one cheek is a little bit higher up and they're not very proportionate, but if you follow your natural bone structure, you can probably get a more natural, equal feel. So now I'm just outlining the teeth. I'm not doing it very neatly, but it's okay because it'll be fixed in the end, and from far away you can't really tell anyway. It does take a while. So once you finish all your outlining, I'm t going in with a black cream makeup and I'm just uh, coloring in those hollow areas, so the areas around my eyes and the area on my nose. And I'll also be doing some detailing on the cheeks and the teeth as well. Again, you can just kind of find a black paint or a black cream makeup at any Halloween store. They have a ton of them everywhere. 
during Halloween season. So it should be pretty easy to find this kind of stuff. And you're just going to want to make sure that you kind of hide those harsh lines that you drew with the pencil. I'm kind of just like feathering it out a bit, making sure that it's all even and there's no like harsh jagged lines. And just make sure the paint goes on pretty even. I'm doing a couple layers just to make sure it's nice and opaque. The nose area was such a weird, like, spot to do. Uh, now I'm just doing the cheeks. So I'm just kind of filling in these hollows by the sides of the teeth. Just feathering that out more so near the, where the teeth are. Just so it all kinds of, kind of blends very nicely. And I'm just kind of making sure those lines are nice and they're not jagged or harsh. Now I'm trying to like even out because I realized it didn't look quite like the other side. <laughs> this is where following your natural bone structure would come in handy. Now I'm just kind of going in with some, some black and I'm just kind of touching up the teeth a little bit. And now I just kind of like really muscly just kind of shadow around the neck bones. Now you could definitely add more detail, less detail, just do whatever suits you, but this is the finished uh, skeleton face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've, all the products that I used will be listed in the down bar, so be sure to check that out. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with this 31 days of makeup challenge. Bye!